Good afternoon, viewers. Uh, this is the Communication Extension and Education Service Unit, uh, commonly known as uh, Agriculture Communication Unit. Today, we are witnessing uh, the National Seed Fair, uh, which is being uh, organized by the National Seed Secretariat with funding from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Of course, this is the second edition of the Seed Fair. Uh, last year, 27, 2018, if you could recall there was a national seed fair which was held in Farafene, uh, North Bank region. Today, uh, the organizing committee decided to conduct two seed fairs. Of the national one is what we are currently witnessing. That is on the 15th of June, 2018. Another seed fair is going to be held on, mo on, on, on Monday, the 17th of June, 2019, at uh, uh, North Bank region, Farafene. Uh, today's occasion was, is attended by uh, many dignitaries, uh, starting from uh, the uh, representative of FAO, uh, that is the Food and Agriculture Organization, Dr. Kalala, uh, the Director General of Agriculture, uh, Dr. Seku Sanyang, uh, the Governor of this region, uh, Mr. Abba Sanyang, uh, uh, the Director General of National Seed Secretariat, uh, the Chief of the region, and a host of other dignitaries are present here to uh, witness this important occasion. Uh, as uh, they, they, they all delivered uh, speeches, you know, the central thing is uh, they encourage farmers people that are going to be, benef uh, be benefiting from this seed. The Seed Growers Association also is there. They are providing the seed. The seeds have been tested. You know, they've been evaluated by the National Seed Secretariat and they are worried. They've been found worthy of a viable and quality seed. So the Seed Growers Association is uh, NSS and FAO, you know, after evaluating the seed growers, they've selected uh, a number of seed growers that's, that, 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 that we are going to be supplying the seed. The seed are many. They range from uh, uh, groundnut, uh, findi, uh, uh, kuz, maize, uh, and uh, cowpea. And we are having biofortified maize also here and biofortified uh, uh, orange fresh sweet potatoes. And we are having input dealers also here, as you uh, may understand, agriculture culture inputs are very important we have an input dealers here uh, from input uh, you know uh, you know uh, enterprises they also came to grace the occasion to showcase their their products you know uh, the the, the uh, uh, message the message from the dignitaries dignitaries who've given their you know uh, uh, remarks here uh, the central thing is you know for farmers to uh, to the farmers that are going to be provided with this seed, to nurture the seeds, you know, to, 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 to also uh, cultivate the seeds and be able to multiply them, so that uh, the coming years, the government is not going to be providing them with seeds because every year, every year in year out, providing seeds to farmers is quite expensive, we, and we having a lot of farmers that needs to benefit from this. And today's occasion, about 800, more than 800 farmers in within this region are going to, uh, 800 farmers are going to be benefited from these quality seeds so that is the central message here for farmers to you know cultivate seed seed they, they shouldn't be consumed they should be multiplied and be able to assist other farmers who are not opportune to have the seeds uh, for, 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 for seed growing, for us to be able to grow our own seeds without depending on other countries outside. You know, that is the objective of the government, the National Seed Secretariat and FAO. Uh, every year they spend uh, almost 100, $100 million dollars to purchase seeds from other countries. And developing this industry here, the seed sector here, uh, will avail the, the, an opportunity to farmers here to, for the money that is going to be sent outside to buy seeds. will be opportune to have all that, that money here with farmers. That is an additional advantage to our economy. So the money will remain with farmers here. So this is the event, uh, uh, the National Seeds, uh, the National uh, Seed Fair 2019, the national one. We are in Brikama here. Thank you very much. First of all, may I first thank EU to FAO for providing this very funding for this very important seed fair in the Gambia. This is a well thought initiative that will go a long way to empower and sensitize our seed producers.
farmers, import dealers, and all other stakeholders. And the concept of seed fair is to organize a seed market in which the target population of farmers have easy access to quality seeds and in large quantities. It also enables seed producers, marketers, input dealers, farm tools or equipment dealers to present their products to prospective customers. Of course, thus creating a platform for linkage between seed growers and other relevant agricultural sectors and seed producers and as well as seed users. Recognizing the limitation of most seed growers who constitute the informal sector, the seed fair will further develop their capacities and enhance their performance for effective and efficient product delivery. The seed fair will further facilitate seed users access the product from seed growers. Furthermore, input dealers, farm tool or equipment dealers, research institutions and other agricultural sector providers are opportune to showcase their products, services and activities geared towards advancing the cost of agricultural production and productivity for overall national economy. It is against this backdrop that a seed fair is conceived by National Seed Secretariat and FAO and other relevant stakeholders in a bid to, to leverage farmers' access to quality seeds in adequate quantities and other farm inputs in preparation for the 2019 cropping season. The seed fair will also generate synergy and foster strong linkages between seed growers, input dealers, service providers and seed users. The government of the Gambia recognizes the fundamental importance of agriculture for achieving food and improving the well-being of population. For this reason, the government attaches high priority to sustainable agricultural development in a wider context of strengthening the rural economy. Also, this government recognizes that the proper use of use of quality seeds of improved varieties is a prerequisite in enhancing co-production. I cannot conclude without expressing my gratitude to FAO, which stood by, uh, by us in, in the development of seed sector for the past decades, and seed provides guidance and resources in the long road to seed certification. We also commend the EU for the timely support to install the remaining steps that will make the seed certification holistic and practical and in tune with the dictates of an overall agricultural sector of which we will all be part of. I thank you all and I wish you a very fruitful seed fair 2019 edition. Distinguished participants and members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased uh, to be here today um, and to add my welcome to those of others and um, to all of you to the second edition of the National Seed Fair. It's being held of a project, a large project funded by the European Union called Agriculture for Economic Growth, which aims to contribute to sustainable growth and improved agricultural production and productivity in the Gambia, to reduce food insecurity and malnutrition, to mitigate migration flows to Europe. Once again, FAO is very pleased to stand in partnership with the government of the Gambia and the European Union to support the development of the seed industry, which is critical to the agricultural sector. Indeed, those of you who are familiar with the National Development Plan, um, the idea of the National Development Plan is to transform the agricultural sector into a modern sector that is able to meet the food needs, the export needs, the income needs of the Gambian population. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something that cannot be done without the adequate availability of good quality seed. The transformation of the agricultural sector, let me repeat, cannot be done 
unless farmers have good access to quality seed. So this is an important exercise for all of us. Indeed, a good harvest begins with good seed selection. Good quality seeds lead to high plant populations, high yields, and fewer pest problems. Globally, FAO uses its experience in working in different agroecological settings to engage in setting up seed fairs and voucher schemes, bringing technical expertise in areas such as seed security, seed and market assessment. We know already that from last year's seed fair, this year there's been tremendous strengthening um, in our seed sector in the Gambia. In fact, we've seen the National Seed Secretariat as an institution grow from strength to strength. We've seen the production of seed, quality seed, groundnut seed and maize, um, to name just a couple, uh, already increase quite substantially. Um, and we, I, let me take this opportunity really to thank um, all of you who, ha who are participating actively in this. I don't want to say have participated because this is something that is started, but um, the work is still there. We're, we're part of the way um, to the, the results that we need to reach, uh, but we still have quite a bit of work to go. So let me congratulate all of you who are participating in this, um, the National Seed Secretariat, the Department of Agriculture, NARI, um, the technical colleagues, uh, the consultants uh, from FAO and, and, and those provided by government. Um, and let me really take this opportunity to thank mostly the seed growers, those of you, the farmers, who are involved in producing the seed. I congratulate you for the work that you're doing because the technical advice that is provided by FAO and government um, can, can, can only go so far. It is the farmers who transform it into the results that we're seeing today. So I congratulate you and I thank you for the tremendous work uh, and we look forward to, to collaborating with you um, even further. So I thank you very much. I wish everybody a wonderful day. And uh, this is the beginning or the continuation of, uh, of better things to come. Thank you very much. Special greetings from Ministry of Agriculture. I welcome you all of you to this uh, important seed fair. Firstly, uh, I wish to thank the EU to FAO uh, for funding this very important seed fair in the Gambia. This is a well thoughtful and uh, calculated initiative uh, that will go a long way to empower and sensitize our seed growers, uh, farmers in general, uh, input dealers, and other relevant stakeholders. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted and feel honored to be part of this important uh, seed sector stakeholders of our dear country that will witness this national seed fair which is aimed at creating awareness on the importance and use of high quality seeds for increased agricultural production and productivity. Mr. Chairman, uh, the government of the Gambia recognizes the fundamental importance of agriculture for achieving food security and improving the lives and livelihoods of our farmers. For this reason, uh, the government has put more emphasis and high priority to sustainable and modern agricultural, agricultural production and development in the wider context of strengthening the rural economy. In addition, this government recognizes the proper use of quality seeds and improved varieties that will serve as a catalyst in enhancing crop production and marketing. Farming in the Gambia for centuries depends on traditional seed savings practices. And while these practices confer some advantages that are overwhelming issues and concern, which has uh, proposed us to improve more modern agricultural technologies to combine with our 
local knowledge system. Gambia's delicate agroecology requires the best modern of crop improvement outputs to increase crop yields, widen crop adaptation, enhance overall production, combat pest, and minimize the effects of drought and other calamities, all related to climate change. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, many interventions are needed from research for variety development, seed multiplication, commercial and seed production, as well as adequate quality assurance mechanism that will ensure adequate quantities of high quality seeds will be produced by the formal and informal seed sector. Made available to our increasing farmers, which in turn will make our country to be food and nutrition secure. Permit me to stand on the existing protocol. I'm delighted to stand before these uh, honorable gatherings to quickly discuss the need to invest in quality seed processing production marketing as one of the means of mitigating food scarcity and youth migration both onshore and offshore. The body of both men and other animals need a variety of nutrients among which are carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals to survive. These nutrients are derived from the food we eat. Therefore, in order to stay healthy and productive, the importance of food cannot be overemphasized. Food shortage or scarcity is a crisis that no nation will want to experience because prolonged food shortage can lead to violent behavior. No wonder an adage says, an hungry man is an angry man. Migration either from rural to urban within the country or from country to country, from country to country is the result of a decision process involving several factors. But most often, macro factors that lead to migration include economic growth, employment prospects, and most significantly in search of quality life, which food to eat is one of it. The United Nations Secretary General launched Zero Hunger Challenge in 2012 in, to inspire a global movement towards a world free from hunger within a generation. The concern now is how can the world be free from hunger in this era of ever increasing population, climate change, urban migration and low agricultural productivity it has been identified that one of the approach to have zero hunger in the world is to have 100% increase in smallholder productivity and income. Increased agricultural productivity is best achieved when the quality of use by farmers is guaranteed. Guaranteed when the whole production chain is handled by technically competent personnel. In the past three years, tremendous achievements has been made in the Gambia to fix all the segments required in a perfect seed system. Currently, we have a functional seed regulating agency, an NSS, that has been very, very well equipped, backed up by technical uh, expertise provided by FAO, and our seed growers are proving to us that they are capable of producing enough seed for the use of this country and even for export. What we are seeing now is an evidence of it. The, this country, Gambia, offers a strong investment environment for seed production in terms of demand, arable land, climate, and available labor and skills. Seed production is possible almost all in all parts of the country. And currently, seed crops and varieties have been successfully produced and they are found to conform with the quality standard within the region. It will therefore be of interest to know that global access to seed index still reveal that quite a lot of smallholder farmers 
are still not having adequate access to quality seed. Therefore, there is still more ground to cover. I therefore want to call on our seed growers that have transformed from being an ordinary seed grower to enterprise. To seize this opportunity to widen their business while our youths, our young investors, our former field schools can come and invest in seed business because it proves to be a very good business that can give us a very, very good turnover in this country. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, honorable ministers, our guests, our pressmen, our security, the representative of EU, FAO Rep, and other dignitaries. I would like to appreciate FAO once again and EU for this initiative and for helping this country to grow the seed sector. I also want to thank them for giving me the opportunity to contribute my own quota to the system development of this country and of the region. Thank you very much. God bless. Still on the seed fair 2019, uh, today we are in Farafenye uh, on the you know, second leg of the annual seed fair. Uh, Last time we were in Brikamaba, uh, which was of course the national one. Uh, today we are having another seed fair in this region, uh, in Farafenye, on the uh, 17th of June 2019. You know, where you know uh, beneficiaries from this community, uh, you know, the North Bank region, uh, you know. Uh, here, here to, 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 to benefit from their seeds, you know, uh, it is also a very, you know, important uh, occasion, though Bikamaba one is the national one, but here also in attendance you can see a lot of dis dignitaries uh, uh, have come to grace the occasion, you know, uh, from FAO uh, to the uh, regional authorities here, uh, the area council chairman, uh, the regional director of agriculture, uh, regional health directorate, and a host of other dignitaries. Farmers also are here who should benefit from the, you know, you know, you know, the seeds. You know, uh, as you may see, they are queuing up to check their vouchers. You know, input dealers also are around. You know, the seed fair, it is, uh, it is not all about seeds. They try to, you know, invite input de dealers, you know, come in with their various inputs and, and sell them to farmers or sell ideas to farmers. We have in biofortified, uh, you, know, uh, you know, varieties also. Uh, that is the orange flesh sweet potato. The iron, uh, you know, uh, pale maize and other biofortified, uh, you know, uh, 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 crop varieties here, uh, which are being promoted by United Purpose. The whole event is uh, organized uh, by uh, the National Seed Secretariat with funding from uh, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. So a lot of dignitaries have given you know you know you know remarks here you know they've like that of Bikamaba one, you know, they've all encouraged uh, and acknowledged the importance of uh, a, a, a functional fee seed system, a well-organized seed system, and the need to have a, a good seed system here where, where, you know, the country will be buying seeds from seed growers here without going outside and spending a substantial amount of money to get seeds. You know, these substantial amounts of, of seed to, to, to buy from other countries. They are trying to encourage our seed deal from various part of the country you know they were trained of course they were taught uh, you know uh, regarding the, the the criterias of you know nurturing a good and viable quality seeds so any seed grower that fulfill all those requirements are certified and are allowed to bring in their seeds here for them to be you know you know you know you know given to beneficiaries uh, FAO is you know you know is, is 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 taking care of the entire issue they are buying the seeds from seed growers and giving those seeds to the you know vulnerable farmers in this region you know this is the seed fair this is the you know you know final edition of it we have two seed fairs this year the national one uh, as i've told you earlier is that of Brikamaba, which was held on the you know 15th of june 2019 today we are on the final leg of the seed fair uh, today the 17th of june 2019 in farafenye uh, thank you very much